Hey, so glad we're here. My name is Christy Ann. I'm here with my movement tonight and we'll be exploring the yin yoga practice. The yin yoga practice is radically inclusive. So what that means is that if you have no prior yoga or meditation experience, this is a great place to start. There's very little stress about alignment. The focus lies solely on our breath, and then we can set intention from there. There's very little that you need for this practice. If you have a yoga mat, you can go ahead and put that out. If you don't have a mat, that's okay as well. You can put down a towel or a blanket or even simply lay on the floor. Props, if you have them, are great have some blocks here. They're not necessary. They are helpful. If you don't have those, grab a pillow or something of that shape or size and that will work just fine. And before we begin, if you have the opportunity to quiet any of the external distractions that are within your space that you can, you know, quiet down, you can go ahead and do that such as cell phones, maybe closing a door to where children are playing, turning off the TV, even dimming the lights. will make this experience just a little bit more enjoyable. And tonight I'll offer if you want to light any certain candles that you like, if there's incense or an essential oil that speaks to you, you can go ahead and grab that and we'll get ready to begin. So I'm gonna meet you on the mat tonight for myself I'm lighting a candle. So you can set yourself up. Remember, quiet the distractions down, and I'll see you on the mat. So tonight, we're going to begin in a comfortable seat to begin to connect with our breath and ground and come into this present moment. We've all been riding this endless wave of change, right? And it just keeps going. And tonight, we're going to focus on grounding so that we have the strength, the stamina, and clarity of mind, body as well, to continue on this journey with a bit more ease. So we'll start in Sukhasana. That's our easy seat. Your legs can be crossed. You can extend them if you choose. If you have props, again, either a block or a pillow, I'm gonna recommend that you go ahead and grab that and you can place it beneath your sit bones, your butt, so that the hips are elevated, your knees will drop down toward the earth and it'll bring some ease to your hip flexors while allowing us to lengthen through the spine and then ground with the earth energy beneath us so that we can begin to move and breathe. So finding a comfortable seat, the goal in this practice is to remain still, to receive from these shapes that we'll create. And so as we begin these shapes, if you want to shake out any of the kinks, here on our Sukhasana, you know, shoulder rolls are great. You want to do that a few times. A few neck rolls, nice and gentle. have an already, you can begin to close down the eyes. It's like I said, there's very little stress about alignment in the yin yoga practice. It's more about sinking fully into our shapes and allowing our breath to do the work for us. If you're rolling out the neck and you had changed direction, start small on the opposite side. As we're here on our Sukhasana, just try to sit up a little bit taller, even if you're rolling the neck in. Great job. Let's take one more neck roll. And then go ahead, you can bring yourself back through center. And we'll pause here on our Sukhasana to begin to connect with our anchor, right? This experience in our lives our breath. Tonight here we're focusing on grounding, so I'm going to ask you to place your hands face down on the knees. Allow yourself to sit up nice and tall so the shoulders stack over your hips. Feel them there. 
Give a little lift to the chin from the collarbone. So there's space across the chest. And I want you to imagine that there is a string running through your body from the very tip of your tailbone, right, our seat, all the way up through the crown of the head. And to sit up a little bit straighter, imagine that myself is just taking that string and giving it a little tuck, right, to find all that night and then space between the vertebrae. Now allowing ourselves to become still. So go ahead, relax your face. Soften the space between the eyebrows and the corners of the eyes. Together, we'll find a big breath in. And deep exhale all the way out, let it go with the side. Beautiful. Go again. Breathe in. Big sigh out the mouth. Let it go. That's it. Let's take one more right here. Span your lungs fully. And allow yourself to exhale deeply. So then keep going, right? Your full inhale, lungs expand. By a complete exhale, let it all the way go so you feel your navel draw to your spine. Wonderful. Try that again. Big inhale, expand the belly, the ribs, the heart. Full exhale all the way out, release to the chest, feel the ribs contract, relax the belly. Go again, bigger breathing in, belly expands, ribs expands, heart lifts. Deep exhale all the way out, relax the chest, the ribs, and the belly. Together once more, breathe in, belly expands, then the ribs, then the heart. Deep breathing all the way out, relax your shoulders, the chest, the ribs, and the belly. And then keep going, right? finding your full inhale. And complete exhale, let it all go. We'll stay here in stillness for a few more moments. Right, giving ourselves the opportunity to fully connect with our breath as we bring our awareness there. Right, it took effort to show up here for this practice this evening. So we want to bring both our bodies, right, they are here, but our minds as well here into this present moment so that we can fully receive the benefits that the yin yoga practice has to offer. By connecting with our breath, watching our endless inhales, And exhales. Allows us to ground here in this present moment. So it is our goal through this experience to create an endless cycle of breath. Staying in our bodies. and aligning our minds with where our awareness needs to be. 
right here, right now. We're gonna take two more full cycles of breath here. Continue to sit tall, big inhale. Find a complete exhale. Great job, one more time. Fully expand your lungs, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, pause. Big sigh all the way out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Continue to breathe. Smooth and steady. This is your rhythm that will support your practice here this evening. And our practice and off the mat, as we're met with the endless challenges, changes, that we're all feeling right now. To bring us both steadiness and ease in the shapes. And then off the mat. If you haven't already, you can gradually begin to blink open the eyes. Just keep a soft gaze out in front of you. Again, staying here in the present moment, breathe big. Exhale fully, continue to sit tall. Let's do that one more time. Eyes are softly open. Deep breath all the way out. And then on your next inhale, you can go ahead and stretch your arms all the way up. Reach them tall. Eyes can close down if you'd like. And then as you exhale, you're going to twist over to the right side. So back of left hand to right knee. Sit up tall and find your left finger, right fingertips. Take a breathing in. And then as you exhale, slowly begin to twist. So gradually, your chin will come over your shoulder. Soft gaze toward the back of the room. Still imagine that string running through the midline of your body all the way up through the crown of the head, sitting tall. Beautiful. Shoulders relax just a little bit more. Take one more breath here, big inhale. And deep exhale. And then as you inhale, go ahead, rise the arms all the way up, big breathing in. Exhale, move to the opposite side. Sit bones, stay rooted on the air. Back of right hand to left knee. Sit up nice and tall, straight through the spine. Exhale, twist all the way up. Right, so again, your chin is gradually going to drift over your back shoulder. Soft gaze toward the back of your space. Breathing in fully. Exhaling deeply. Let's do that once more. Big breathing in. Deep exhale all the way up. Great job. As you inhale, go ahead, rise the arms up, full breath in, you can lean back a bit. And then as you exhale, release the fingertips down beside you. And if you're sitting on a block or a pillow, you can go ahead and remove that, but just keep it near your mat. We'll need it later in the experience. So now our sit bones are rooting fully on the earth. If you're facing the same direction I am, you can go ahead and begin to turn. So you're the long ways down your mat. Our legs have been crossed for a bit. So you can go ahead and stretch them out here. Wiggle them around. And then I'm gonna ask you to recross them the opposite way. I mean, it's a little bit unfamiliar. Again, our sit bones are rooted on the earth. And as we inhale, the arms will rise. Full breath in, stretch tall. And then as you exhale, release the right hand down to the earth and left arm's gonna reach up overhead in line with your ear. And your sit bones are grounded into your mat. 
And then the gaze can be down here if you choose, or if it serves your neck, you can begin to look up toward left wrist. Breathing deeply in. Big exhale out, reach through the fingertips, relax the shoulder. Breathe in deeply, feel the left side body expand. Full exhale all the way out, navel to your spine. Great job. One more time, stay rooted through your seat. Take a big breath all the way out. And then as you inhale, go ahead, come back through center, arms rise high. Exhale, move out to the opposite side. So now left hand glides out off the mat. Right arm sweeps up overhead in line with the ear. Root through the sit bones, reach through the fingertips, big breath in. Deep exhale all the way out. And remember the gaze can be down toward the earth here if that serves you now. Or maybe lifting up toward right wrist. And we don't want to force in this practice. We'll keep it gentle, allowing our breath to support us. Beautiful. Breathe all the way out. And then as you inhale, the head can rise back through center, arms reach high. And then we'll forward fold as we exhale. If you have the option of using a prop here, a block or a pillow, you can go ahead and place that out in front of you so your forehead can rest on it. And we'll round and fold into the shape. So hinging at the hips, a slight round of the spine so the chin can come to the chest. In the heart space, the back of it, space between shoulder blades, an opportunity to open. Again, sit bones are rooted here. And then with your arms, you can go ahead and walk them out down the length of the mat. And then flip your palms up toward the ceiling in the space to receive. Relax the shoulders down the back body. And close your eyes back down. Take a full inhale in. Deep breathing all the way up, let it go. Stay connected to your breath, full inhale, feel your lungs expand. Deep exhale all way out, let it go, let it go. Keep going, big breathing in through the nose. Deep exhale, out your mouth. And then keep going here, tuning back in to your rhythm. Through this experience, not waiting for me to tell you to breathe. It is my wish for you that you fall so deep into the rhythm of breath that you cultivate with the sounds and the sensations that it provides you. That I become background sound. You're drawing us back into the present moment if our mind wanders. Okay, if it does, so we can lure it back in with love. So that through this experience, as we ground here in these shapes, that we also empower ourselves. Right, trusting that next breath to keep us here in this moment, both body and mind. Moving forward with calm. And ease as we breathe the shapes. So we'll take a few more breaths here. You have the option to keep your head on the block if that's where you are or a pillow. 
you want to go a little bit deeper and you feel yourself softening and sinking into the shape, you can change the height of the prop you're using or perhaps release it completely. Allow yourself to fold all the way down toward the earth. Try not to force, right? Check in with the quality of your breath as you change the shape. Are the inhale still full? And the exhale deep. And we'll discover in this practice if we force our way into a deeper expression and the body is not quite ready yet, quality of breath will change. That's not a, a judgment, it's just an opportunity to readjust, realign, and reconnect. Relax the back of the neck, we'll take one more breath here, big inhale. And deep exhale. And then as you inhale, you can find a half breath, Just come to your hands. Exhale here. And then you'll begin to walk your hands in. Sit up for a moment. Again, find that soft gaze through the eyes. Big breathing in. Deep exhale all the way out. And then we'll make our way to a tabletop position from here. So if it's accessible to you tonight, you can roll out to your hands and your knees. If you'd like also as well, you can roll out to one hip and then swing your legs back behind you. Still facing long ways on the mat. I will place our hands beneath our shoulders, knees under the hips. Just take a moment to now feel the earth energy through the palms. Spreading the fingers nice and wide, allowing them to press down. Ball mount of the hand and the heel of the hand are also rooted on the earth. Straighten out the arms a little bit more, pressing your mat away. Crown of the head will drop forward in space. And allow your tailbone to reach back, that same string, but now reaching side to side. Pause for a moment here, take a full breath in, soft gaze through the eyes. And deep exhale all the way out, feel the navel draw in toward your spine. And then on your next breath in, we'll find cow pose. And now we'll begin to lift the chin high, drop the belly, lift the tailbone. And then as you exhale, round to your cat pose. Now pressing the earth away, chin toward the chest of the spine. And we'll take a few cycles. So deep breathing in brings us into cow, collarbone broadens and smiles. Take a full exhale out, round to the cat pose, chin to the chest, open the back of the heart. One more cycle, tilt the chin a little bit higher this time, feel the skin stretch, throat opening, cow. Deep breathing all the way out, find your cat pose, draw the chin to the chest, keep going, keep going. And then we'll pull forward into neutral table once again, keeping the hips over the knees. We're going to greet our puppy pose now. If you have blocks, if you have pillows, you're welcome to grab them. Again, we'll allow our forehead to rest here so we don't stress out the back of the neck. And then give ourselves an opportunity to sink automatically. So from here, forehead will rest on the block. Hips will stay over the knees. We begin to crawl our fingertips out. We feel length through the backs of the arms. Allow the forehead to rest down on the earth. Soften through the shoulders. If you find there's any adjustments you need to make here, little fidgets you need to get out. Try to find them within the first few moments so that we can allow ourselves to sink in. Allow our breath to move us. Relax the shoulders down the back body. Fingertips crawl maybe a little further out. 
flattening out the palms. Beginning to settle into stillness here. Take a big inhale in. Deep exhale all the way out. Go ahead, close your eyes, full breath in. And do a great big exhale. Reconnect to your rhythm, lungs fully expand. Deep, breathing all the way out. And allow yourself to keep going. Forming the relationship with your breath that anchors us here in this present moment, both body and mind. Allowing our awareness to stay on the breath. It keeps us here. may discover without judgment that the mind will wander as we become still and that's normal. It's how far do we wander? Can we begin to fall out of this shape? Does the breath become shallow as we walk away with that story in the mind? This is just bringing awareness to where the mind goes. We find ourselves falling back to the past, feeling an action and emotion. Perhaps reaching to the future in wonder, that's normal too. Challenge yourself to come back to your breath. Remain in the moment. We'll be here in this shape a little bit longer. If you feel yourself sinking in and then there's more opportunity, then you may go a little bit deeper. At this point, you may change the height of the prop that you're using. Perhaps you're removing it fully and the chest can rest on the floor. And today's body is feeling that open. You can also stay right where you are. That's fine as well. Take a big breath in. Deep exhale out. Stay connected to the quality of your breath. Let the inhale still full. And then the exhale deep. So Take three more from here. Fingertips crawl a little further out. Heart space is hanging down toward the floor. Beautiful job. Full breath in. Deep, deep breathing out. Last one, big inhale, 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 lungs expand. Deep sigh, exhale, let it go, let it go, let it go. I'm gonna begin to release this shape and move right into the next one. So rising up just a bit, I'm gonna keep a soft gaze through the eyes. You're using a prop, you can place it to the side. We're going to slide right onto our bellies and come into Sphinx pose. So the pelvis is now grounding down into the earth, feeling that rooting sensation. The elbows will come beneath the shoulders, and the shoulders will roll back and down. Hands can stay shoulder distance apart here. If you feel your hands are sliding inward, the block or even a pillow is used to place between your hands so the heart space will remain open. Feet can be about hip distance apart, 
Just give a little press to the tops of the feet so your knees begin to lift off the mat. This will help us lift the heart up a little bit more and release any compression from the low back and lumbar spine. So finding a space where you can be still. Okay, shake out any of the fidgets here so that we can fully receive. Again, feeling the earth energy through the pelvis, pressing into the mat, grounding us. And then our breath, anchoring both body and mind here in present moment. So go ahead, take a full inhale in. Deep exhale all the way up. And great big inhale. And exhale. And we can close the eyes back down, breathe fully. Exhale deeply. Keep going, let's fully expand, relax the shoulders. Take a deep, deep breath all the way out. Continue to breathe. Again, not waiting for the sound of my voice. just here as a gentle reminder. I said in that last shape, sometimes the mind wanders and that is normal. The goal with practice is to allow those thoughts, right? we can call them clouds, passing through our mind to simply pass. To not jump on that cloud and float away me this experience, but to remain here present in the moment. And our breath is what supports that exploration. So again, stay connected, full in housing. Deep, deep breathing all the way out. Little bit longer here. Keep going, heart lifting. Top, so be pressing. Keep the space between the eyebrows relaxed. As well as the corners of the eye. So let's take three more cycles of breath. Big exhales all the way out, exhaust the breath. Keep going, deep breathing in. Big, big exhale out. Last one, take your biggest breath up, inhale, inhale, inhale. And a complete exhale, exhale, exhale. Great job. We're going to begin to release this shape. If you took a prop for support, you can go ahead and place it to the side, keep it nearby. You need to lie down on the belly just for a moment and make a pillow with your hands so the elbows come out toward the sides. We're gonna bring the left ear down onto the hands. Just take a moment to lay on the earth, breathe in. And a big exhale out. One more here. Feel the lungs expand, back body rise. Deep exhale. And as you inhale, go ahead and lift the head up. And 
and move to the opposite side. Right ear comes down, take a full breath in. Big, big exhale out. One more time. Side out, let it go. And go ahead, you can bring yourself back through center. Just slide your hands next to your rib cage, beneath your elbows, and feel yourself back to a child's pose. Balasana, so round through the spine. See, draws to the heels. Allow the forehead to rest down on the earth. Knees can go wide here, so the torso rests down between the thighs if you choose, or belly can rest on the thighs. Head will drop down, take a full inhale in. Big breathing out, stay grounded. Again, deep inhale. Big exhale. Allow the forehead to rest on the earth. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Keep going, lungs expand. Deep exhale all the way out. Take one more big breath. And full exhale. And we're gonna gradually begin to release our child's pose. We'll stay low, just begin to walk your fingertips in. So you begin to come up to sit on your heels. Step tall for a moment, shoulders over hips, deep inhale. And big exhale. And from here, we're gonna make our way back to our sit bones to stay with the theme of grounding. Right? So we have the calm and the ease to continue to move through this practice. And then with our ever-changing world off the mat. Of course, our breath will continue to support us. So beginning to find your sit bones on the earth. You can extend your legs long down the length of the mat. And just shake them out for a moment. Shoulders over the hips. And now we're going to begin to widen the legs. I'm moving into a straddle shape. It does not have to be super wide. Right? We haven't really worked on our hamstrings here tonight. Just allow ourselves to gradually sink and soften with the support of our breath. Of course, props if you have them. We find blocks and pillows very helpful here. So we can allow our forehead to rest down on them. Making sure the sit bones, your butt is grounded into the mat. And begin to stretch the legs out and flex the feet a few times. Roll out the ankles. Great. Nice. And then from here, take a moment to sit tall, deep breathing in, shoulders over the hips. And then as we exhale, begin to hinge and forward fold. So like I said, we haven't worked on our hamstrings too much tonight, and that's okay. The breath will support us as we move deeper into the shape. If you find you need another prop, if you want to place your hands on it and just sit, begin to lean in, that's okay as well. If you feel that you can go a little bit deeper, the forehead can rest down on the block. Just keep the feet lightly flexed so your toes are pointing up toward the ceiling. Shoulders, again, moving down your back. Hands here can crawl down the length of the mat if you choose. And again, allow the palms to face up to receive. Close your eyes back down. Take a full inhale. Deep, deep exhale all the way out. That's it. Go again. Big breath.
And full exhale. Keep going, lungs expand. Deep breathing all the way out. Stay connected to the breath. Slow, steady inhales. And exhales. Keep going, deep breath. Let it all the way out, let it go. And stay on your rhythm. Again, not waiting for the sound of my voice to tell you to breathe. It's my wish for you that you immerse yourself so deeply in the sounds and the sensations and the support that your breath is providing. Through the sensations that perhaps have awakened within the body, the shapes you've created here tonight. The support that the breath has provided as we have felt fluctuations of our minds, right? The clouds passing through, but letting them pass rather than float away with them. Staying here in present moment, breathing deeply. Exhaling fully. We'll take a few more here. You have the option to keep your head on the prop right where it is. If you feel as though you can go a little bit deeper, you can change the height of your prop, or you may even be laying on the floor at this point, depending on where your body is at here this evening. Again, we don't want to force. So if there's any painful sensation, it's up to you to pull back a little bit, reconnect with breath, and then sink back in. The best way that we can tell is if we've gone a little too far too fast is by the quality of our breath changing. Our inhale still full. And the exhale's deep. Can you breathe through what you're feeling right now? Great job. We'll take two more breaths here. Full inhale. And big exhale. One more time, full breath in. Deep, deep breathing out. And on the inhale, begin to half rise. Exhale there. And then we're going to come to sit up. Just walk yourself in slowly, keeping your sit bones rooted to the earth, shoulders stacking over the hips. Legs will stay extended for just a few more moments. All right, so continuing to sit tall, give a little flex of the feet. Big breath in. Deep exhale out. And then as you inhale, go ahead and rise the arms high, full breath. And then as you exhale, you can slide the right hand down the right leg, and left arm's gonna reach up and out toward the side. This feels familiar. So again, rooting through the sit bones. 
Reaching out through the fingertips, relaxing the shoulders. And again, the gaze can be down toward the earth here, if you choose. If it serves your neck, you can look up toward your left hand. Stay connected to breath, full inhale. Big exhale. We'll take two more. Big inhales in. Deep, deep exhale out. Stay long through the left side of the body. Great job. One more time. Big exhale all the way up. And then as you inhale, go ahead, rise through center, arms come up overhead. Exhale, move in the opposite direction. So now left hand slides down, left leg. Right arm sweeps up overhead. Align it with the ear. Roll the shoulder back and down. Big breathing in, reach through your fingertips. Deep exhale out, enjoy the leg through right side body. Big inhale. Deep exhale. Once more, biggest breath. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Biggest exhale. Feel the skin stretch. And then as you inhale, rise back through center, both arms high. Exhale, release the hands down behind you. Great work. So from here, go ahead, stretch out the legs one more time. Now in front of you, down the length of the mat. And we'll take one more forward bend, and then we'll set up to lay down on the earth. So from here, I'm gonna ask you to bring the soles of your feet together, allowing the knees to drop out toward the sides. We're gonna move into a Tarasana, a star shape here tonight. So different than our body can also know where the feet are close to our sit bones. I'm going to ask you to slide the legs a little bit further out so you create a diamond and then we'll forward fold from here. Again, props are helpful if you have them, block or pillow. If you're using a block, you can place it between your feet. And just like we've been doing through this practice here this evening, the forehead will rest on the block. If you don't have a block, you can simply place a pillow right over your ankles and then we'll get going from here. So again, staying rooted through your seat. You're gonna hold on to your ankles. Take a moment to sit up nice and tall, long spine, take the strain through the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, draw the chin in toward your chest as you begin to forward fold, rounding through the spine so the crown of the head comes down toward the earth. If you're using props here, the forehead's resting on the block. That can also be on the pillow. Now our hands, now that we're rooted in the shape, they can release from the ankles and you can slide them out in front of you once again. Palms are facing up to relax the shoulders down the back. Head is dropping down toward the earth. Feeling the space between each and every vertebra. Long through the back of the neck. Allowing our breath to support us. Take a full inhale in. Deep breathing all the way out. Stay connected, full inhale. And big exhale. Deep inhale. In. Big exhale out, surrender more. Deep 
going, lungs expand. Deep, deep breathing all the way out. Then keep going. And stay true to your rhythm of breath that has supported you through this entire practice here tonight. Smooth, steady inhales moving through your entire being, both body and mind. Deep, deep exhales, keeping us here in the present moment. Strive to remain still. Connect it with breath. Take two more cycles here. Full inhale in, lungs expand. Deep exhale all the way out. Big inhale. Deepest exhale. And as you inhale, begin to half rise, find your hands on the earth. Blink, open the eyes, take a breath out there. And then we're going to begin to walk our hands back in to sit up nice and tall. Grabbing on to the outsides of the legs. You can begin to pull your legs together and we'll make our way onto our backs from this point. Okay, so lying down, begin to pull your knees in toward the chest, squeeze them in nice and tight. Give them a hug, head, neck, and shoulders are on the earth. Rock a bit back and forth, side to side. And then you can go ahead, bring your arms out into T, allow the palms to face up toward the ceiling, close your eyes. Take a big inhale in. And then as you exhale, drop the knees over to the right side and we'll turn the head out toward the left. You can scoop the hips toward the center of the mat so the hips will stack. Heart space will stay open. Take a big inhale, palms face up. Deep breathing out, sink deeper into the earth. Full inhale. Great big exhale. One more here, deep breathing in. Big exhale out. And then as you inhale, we can come back through center. And then exhale, move to the opposite side. Knees will go over to the left. Head will turn out toward the right. Again, you can move your hips to the center of the mat. And keep the eyes closed down. Big inhale in. Deep breathing all the way out. Relax both shoulder blades down onto the earth. And stay open across the heart center. Take one more breath here, breathe in. Breathe out. And as you inhale, come back through center one more time. Pull the knees back in toward the heart by wrapping the arms around the shins. 
keeping the legs close to the body, you can bring your hands to the kneecaps and begin to pull your kneecaps in towards the sides of the body and the armpits, reaching up between the legs. You'll grab the outsides of the feet, the ankles, or the shins as we move into happy baby before we take rest. So head, neck, and shoulders will stay on the earth. Tailbone reaching down toward the floor as you begin to extend the soles of the feet up toward the ceiling. Drawing the shoulders back and down. Try to pull down on the feet as you push them up toward the ceiling. And then just like a little baby, you can go ahead and rock back and forth. And side to side. Enjoying the rock and the sway. Still staying with breath here. Big inhale in. Deep exhale out. Big inhale. And deep exhale. Keep the eyes closed down, full breath in. And then release the right leg long down the length of the mat as you exhale. And then you can release the left leg. The feet will be about that distance apart. Toes can dip out toward the sides. Allow the arms stretch out to the sides as well. Palms facing up toward the ceiling. Closing the eyes back down. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Big sigh out the mouth. Let it go. And together, big breathing in. Big sigh out, let it go. One more time, full inhale. Big exhale. Allowing yourselves to take rest. Final shape of this experience here tonight. Space of rest and rejuvenation. Renewal and refresh of both body and mind. Allowing ourselves to quiet down, be still. Allowing our breath to continue to support us, but with ease. Allowing the thoughts within our minds to continue to pass like clouds. We find ourselves floating away, desiring to move. Place the awareness back on the breath. Steady inhales. And exhales. Allowing us to remain present here in this moment.
have the option to stay here in your rest, your Shavasana, for as long as you choose. If you're ready to close practice, you gradually begin to reconnect with your breath by letting it inhale through the nose. Easy sigh out the mouth, let it come. Again, breathing in, feel the lungs expand. Big, big exhale all the way out. Come back into this moment, breathing bigger. Exhaling deeper. And continue to stay with your breath. As you begin to welcome some movement back into the body, you can wiggle fingers, wiggle the toes, roll out the wrists, the ankles. Allow this movement to trickle through you, reawaken. And then you can go ahead and bring your legs together. On the inhale, rise the arms up overhead, point through the fingers, reach the toes, stretch all the way out, get long. And then breath out, go ahead, pull your knees back and toward your heart, wrap your arms around your shin, drop forehead into the knees. Give yourself a hug. Pull everything in tight, eyes remain closed, deep breath in. Big sigh out. Hug yourself a little bit tighter. And then as you exhale, you can begin to roll over onto your right side body. Allowing the hips and the shoulders to stop. Use the right arm as a pillow. Take a deep inhale. In. Big exhale out. Taking a moment here before we rise and fully close practice. To appreciate the feeling of grounding that is existing within our beings here in this moment. To recognize that we took the time, the discipline here tonight to tune in, to tune out from all the external distractions to strengthen the connection of both our bodies and our minds. The conduit bringing them together is our breath. So at any point, as you step off the mat into the rest of your practice, through the evening, the rest of our days, as you seek more grounding, as more change comes, challenges in our path, allow your breath to anchor you. The smooth, steady rhythm that supported us through these shapes has the same power and strength to help us move through anything that we face outside of this practice. And that power is within you. So again, feel it here, deep inhale. And big exhale out. And then you can go ahead, begin to place some weight in your palm. We'll come up to our easy seat, Sukhasana, cross-legged seat. Taking a moment to sit up tall, stack the shoulders over the hips. Eyes remain closed down as we bring the hands into prayer at the center of the heart for Anjali Mudra. Thumbs will press into the sternum. Slight bow of the chin toward the chest. Breathing deeply. And exhale fully. Thank you so much again for tuning in here tonight. My name is Christiane. I'm here with my movement and what we experience was in yoga. It's my wish for you that you feel a bit more grounded, calm, and with ease. Thank you so much. Namaste.